So I'm gonna make this video for you. This is gonna be why this industry has uh, such a black eye on it. It's full of people that are dishonest. It's full of people that shouldn't be working on cars. And it's just messing it up for the handful of us that are honest and just wanna give people what they need and, uh, and be fair, honest, move with integrity. Uh, this is the stuff that pisses me off and uh, I'm gonna share it with you. This was the diagnosis. I never recommend stores like this, any of these corporate chains. I just don't. Uh, see, there's your date. There's the diagnosis. Has good power and grounded compressor. It's not engaging. And so I wish I had initially got the, uh, the pressure values. I just expected, you know, that this was gonna be correct. I actually ordered the parts. And um, so anyway, they got to go back. But um, so I came here fully prepared to just, you know, make some repairs. But I always like to see uh, for myself the diagnosis, if it's correct, uh, because I'm charging for the diagnosis. This was to come out, uh, confirm diagnosis and make repairs. My price was going to be cheaper than this um, because I don't have to crack people over the head for $1,900 for a compressor, condenser, etc. So I came out, I connected the gauges. And now my gauges, uh, it was humid. I was at about 30 pounds high and low. That's, that's normal, that's just, you know, static pressures. And I said, it's just too low for the compressor to even come on with your, your pressure switch. So what I did is I came over to the relay. Uh, this is gonna be your, your power and ground control, your, uh, well, your constant power and your ground control from the ECU and uh, your terminal uh, 30 here, and then your switch to 87. So what they said was that they had good power and ground. Well, you can't have good power and ground uh, if the pressure is too low. So what I did is I connected my uh, uh, jumper, that's the hot side, and I just hit it to 87. And you can hear that clutch. So I said, hey, if that clutch is, I can actuate it, Hey, I bet you were good. So I started the engine. Let me bend down and see if I can get my relay that I dropped down. I started the engine, and uh, what do you know? It started uh, pulling in, started pulling in the Freon. As I'm bending, there we go, there's my relay. So let me reinstall this. And uh, I'm gonna start it up so that you can see for yourselves. And it's cold, so I'm gonna shut it off. So I'm gonna show you that I haven't done a damn thing here. Bend down, my phone in here. There's your compressor. But notice this, they missed the radiator leak. It does have a leak, it just ain't from anywhere other than from the cooling system. But this was misdiagnosed, if even diagnosed. Cannot, again, you cannot have power and ground, you can't have power and then ground control from the ECU um, if you don't have system pressure. So I was fully prepared with my diagram, there's my relay to do all my checks and balances. Fully prepared to do an AC compressor and, and a dryer or condenser with it, but it doesn't need it. So again, stop taking your vehicle to places like this. Find you an honest mechanic with a good reputation and let him fix your car, but fix only what needs to be done. Um, what I'm gonna do for this customer is I'm gonna put the radiator in it and uh, AC's blowing cold and we'll put this down the road. So I've got this radiator replaced. It's in there. Just warming it up, leave the system down. But this is what they should have been paying attention to was this leak, obvious crack in the system. It was low on coolant somehow they seem to have missed this and chased that big money uh, compressor that was still good. So, shame on them. But uh, again, warning to who you call. 
Make sure they know what they're doing and they're good people. Down the road.